Mamma mia, si salderà. Ristoranza, tonda, tonda, donne, mie venite qua. The three redneck tenors have blazed a different kind of brand in the tenor genre since 2006, when they were finalists on America's Got Talent. With their combination of musical comedy, general craziness, and stellar musicianship, they have thrilled audiences at home and on the high seas. Blake Davidson, with the group since 2009, hails from right here in Irving. Well, originally the show had four members, and so we used to say, we are the three redneck tenors. What separates us from all the other tenor groups is that there are four of us, and we're not all tenors. That description sets the tone for an evening with the three redneck tenors, irreverent, lighthearted, kind of zany. <laughs> Antics is a, is a pretty good way to, way to describe it. It's, it's, uh, it really is different every single night, and mainly because of Matthew Lord, who is uh, an absolute crazy person, and so quick on his feet, and loves audiences, and will just take whatever they give him and make something funny out of it. This is gonna be the response we're gonna get all night. <laughs> I'm good with it, but it's going to be a long six and a half hours. That's all I'm telling you. But those antics have a foundation of dedication to craft that can only come from a passion and talent for singing. <laughs> He loves to say, if the singing weren't good, this show would be terrible. <laughs> because he says, no matter how bad one of my jokes bombs, we're about to sing in a minute, and all will be forgiven. Blake's own passion for music started in his hometown. I went to Irving High School. Uh, I was a three-time All-State Choir member, which I was very proud of. They say you can't go home again, but Blake, Matthew, and Jonathan visited Irving High and got a warm welcome from the current choir students. But Blake started his journey in music even before high school. I was also in the Irving Boys Choir with Woody Schober. In fact, Scott and David Schober were literally the very two first members of the Irving Boys Choir. Woody is like, I want to start this choir. Neil, your son <laughs> and my son are going to be, that's where I'm going to start. Blake started young and he's never stopped. He says that even when he retires from music full time, he'll always want to work with his talented friends in opera and musical theater. I would love to be involved in that artistic endeavor with them, us all knowing that we just love working together and we love listening to each other. And let's take this great music that we love and let's just do it together. One true friend in the universe. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting. Who believes in 